Hey, hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist. And uh, this video, I'm going to go through on uh, preserving insects in uh, alcohol. Alright, so, uh, having an alcohol collection uh, is uh, actually brand, is brand new to me. Um, as in, I just never of putting the time or effort to actually start building one. But I have so many vials that I've built up uh, to uh, make a alcohol collection. I uh, figured, you know what, might as well. Uh, so, I'm gonna start off uh, vials. Uh, you can get a number of different sized vials. Um, whatever size works uh, depends on what you want to do or just what type of uh, insets you want to keep. So uh, I have two vial sizes. Um, I can't remember actual specific drams they are. Um, but uh, a small one, this size here, is what I'm using to for my uh, collection proper. And these large vials are what I use when I'm uh, out in the field collecting. Um, I use these for temporary storage. Um, so when I'm like out collecting and you hear me talking about like, getting them in a vial and everything, um, this is the vial I'm talking about, it's filled with uh, alcohol on that. I use that to put in most of the specimens I collect in, uh, minus the specimens that you don't want to be putting in uh, alcohol vials uh, because of uh, scales and that type of thing. Um, so if you give me a, I'm going to cut out here and I'm going to show you a uh, cap here real quick. All right, so. In uh, old collections, um, most alcohol, uh, the alcohol vials were actually uh, plugged with uh, rubber stoppers and rubber plugs and stuff. But uh, those crack, um, can leak, and all that type of stuff. So for vials, what you want is actually uh, ones that with uh, screw-on caps that. Uh, seal. And you see the inside here, you can see how there's a plastic insert in there. And that just um, double seals the uh, vial so nothing evaporates out, nothing leaks out. Um, and this is the type of uh, screw-on cap that and vials that you want. Um, so the, the small caps on the small vials are the the exact same way um, and that's a very important uh, thing to have in a vial is just to make sure it's uh, it can be permanently uh, sealed um, for uh, preservation all right next real quick I'm just to talk about the uh, actual uh, preservative preservative uh, inside the vial or the alcohol um, so, you tend to want, uh, 70 to 80, 85% uh, alcohol, um, uh, in the vials. Um, uh, most, uh, university collections, museums and everything, they use, uh, ethyl alcohol. Um, but, the, um... And I actually do have ethyl alcohol that I've bought from BioQuip in the years past, uh, before they closed. Um, and that's what I have. I have 80% ethyl alcohol in uh, my small vials that I'm using for the actual collection. But uh, you can also use isopropyl alcohol, which you can more readily get. Um, just go to Walmart or somewhere, um, and you can find... Uh, 
uh, pure uh, isopropyl alcohol and that's what I use for my field vials uh, because it's cheap um, I find it readily um, easy to obtain and all that stuff um, then same thing with the isopropyl uh, 70 to 80 or 85 percent um, kind of depends on your preference and I guess it can depend on the specimens you want to want to collect um, and obviously to get to like the uh, percentage wise I'm talking about you mix it with uh, water um, I tend to avoid water from sinks and faucets and stuff uh, just because of potential added stuff that could interact so I just use like I just buy like a straight up already uh, bottled up or galloned up distilled water um, and that's always worked fine but uh, yeah that's the alcohol part um, that's what will actually go uh, to one of the most important parts and that's the labels all right so like uh, a typical pinned insect and that's like mounted and dried uh, you want to have labels with your uh, wet collection as well because labels are extremely important um, so for the paper I use I actually have a bunch of uh, paper that's actually water waterproof um, that's actually made for uh, putting into vials that I bought from BioQuip um, but you want to use like uh, non-acidic paper some sort of non-acidic cardstock or something um, or something that won't get all weird in uh, alcohol when it gets wet um, but um, so that's the paper I use for my uh, vials and uh, as for the uh, writing utensil you want something that's non-soluble in alcohol and water um, I use uh, this pen here it's waterproof and it doesn't fade archival ink um, I got this from Battlecorp as well before they closed um, I'm sure you can get these in quite a few different areas um, so I recommend like uh, using a pen like this um, or even a uh, soft lead like number two pencil or something um, basically you want something that won't uh, um, run or fade and all that type of stuff uh, when it gets wet so any well, I should say any but uh, if you do go with ink and over uh, pencil uh, just make sure it's uh, waterproof and it won't uh, uh, fade or uh, leak or smudge or anything like that and then So just uh, an example here with the labels full of um, vials. So like for example, uh, my aphid vials here, which I only have three so far, but hopefully over this weekend I'll get a bunch more. I have the typical uh, locality. Uh, and data label. Um, I also have a label of the host plant that I found them on and I also have a label for uh, species identification um, and then I also just have a really tiny label that just with a number on it just to just, just to let me know on the like the order I collected and so I can correspond data and all that type of stuff. Um, but yeah that's kind of a kind of the gist of having a wet collection and storing things in alcohol 
Hope you found uh, some of this information useful. Um, and as you can see, like it isn't a showy um, part of a collection to do. Um, just a lot of work um, with uh, labels and vials and all that stuff. Um, so it's not showy like butterflies or some beautiful stuff, but it's gonna be a very important uh, tool. Uh, and uh, if you ever consider adding a wet collection into your own personal collection, uh, I hope uh, this video will help you a little bit uh, in getting the gist of the beginnings of doing that. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions on something I missed or something, just comment below and uh, I'll try and uh, answer uh, as best as I can. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys in on this one. Bye-bye.